What's going down, everybody? Um, Super Nintendo 84 here? Haven't done that one yet. Um, hey, Pipe Dream. That's interesting, because we just did Hubert, and that was done by Pipe Dream. That's interesting. Interesting stuff. But um, this is Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. Now, I am recording the intro before I get around to recording the gameplay, because I am editing two videos right now, and I'm hoping to get like maybe four uploaded today i don't know just want to get some of these ntsc games just kind of out of the way and um i got this tom clancy's rainbow six and the next one after this one is tom clancy's rainbow six rogue spear and the only tom clancy game that i really like is splinter cell and i got it over here somewheres splinter cell where you at where you at splinter cell where you at when i need you most Splinter Cell is right here when I need the most. Now, when it comes to Splinter Cell, it, it's the best Tom Clancy game, I would believe. This, um, the whole Tom Clancy series and stuff, I mean, uh, Rainbow Six is kind of well known, but Splinter Cell is just the best. Splinter Cell, everybody! Splinter Cell, everybody! You get to play as like this, uh, like undercover spy guy with like night vision goggles and thermal goggles and stuff. And that game is prob that game is better than this game. I can go ahead and say that with confidence. But this is Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. Now it says uh, com a combination of explosive action and real life strategy with Eagle Watch missions. That means nothing to me. Um, one player, uh, you can just go around and do stuff. I'm I'm not so sure if the control scheme and schematics is uh, fine tuned to uh, you know most casual players like myself. I'm. I don't know. It says that it's got uh, 16 unique missions. Might have a little bit of a story to it. Um, might be a whole lot better than uh, some that we're working on right now. I, I, I always spoil, like I'm talking, uh, I told you that Rogue Spear is after this one. Maybe I should just leave things to be a mystery. Enough is a mystery. There's, uh, I don't know, there's always surprises and little things here. Little Easter eggs on the Dreamcast 84 channel. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. Uh, what is this going to be about? Um, we're just going to find out together. What do you think? All right. Cool deal. should be a time of peace and prosperity, but all over the globe the embers of old animosities have been fanned into flame by the winds of freedom. Terrorism in the 21st century is an international industry. Money and expertise flow freely through the global computer nets, and every type of weapon imaginable is available on the black market of the third world. It has become harder and harder for the security forces of individual nations to combat this threat to the safety of their people. What's needed is an organization with the resources and the authority to fight terrorism wherever it flourishes. It would be composed of the best and brightest counter-terrorism experts from every country, and armed with state-of-the-art weapons and equipment. It would operate in absolute secrecy, its existence known only to the most senior government officials. It would attack swiftly and silently cutting off the head of the Viper before it had a chance to strike. Such an organization already exists. Its code name is Rainbow. Shadow government operation forces that work for the United Nations. And they operate under the nanny state. Because there was a female narrator, I was thinking about like old school, like Victory at Sea, where you just get some like guy talking and be like, you know, and now you see uh, 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 this soldier is, is, you know, reloading the cannons on the on the battleship, you know, stuff like that. But uh, turn this volume down so we can talk over this. I'm trying to keep these videos relatively short because. I can upload them quicker and get more out and just kind of uh, get this stuff out of the way, man. I'm, and just my heart's not in this right now. I really want to rest on my laurels and say, hey, yeah, I'm the Dreamcast 84 guy. Here, here's my videos. Yep, there they are. Engage training. Uh, let's just go ahead and engage then. 
trying to figure out what the menus is asking of me. Oh man, let me pause this. Yeah, just put in DC84. You know how we do. Rainbow Six. Trying to get some sunlight today. This loading time is crazy, but uh, yeah, I was trying to get some sun today. I'm, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try to make these uh, these four videos that I'm working on right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and get gameplay and get that out of the way. Then go outside, get some sun, enjoy my life, and then play some games that I enjoy and you know start editing, start the editing process. I've already recorded all of the intros, and now I am. Just gonna hit A to everything here. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do all of the uh, editing and stuff a little bit later. Um, let's see. <sighs> yeah, I, I don't like the fact that it's saying default plane and all that. I like a little bit more straightforward. That's why Splinter Cell is better because it's like, here's your mission. Like, there's no confusion. It's not like, hey, do you want to do this or do you want to do that? You know. Just, come on, guys. Yeah, I'm kind of impatient. I just want to get this stuff out of the way, you know? I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, things are kind of turning into a chore. I might just take some time off. I've, every time I say I'm going to take some time off, I don't really, you know? Not like I want to. Oh, come on. Can we just get past this stuff? I'm complaining. I, I got my complaining pants on right now. All it took was Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six to, to make me put on my complainy pants. Might need to have my smug suspenders for my complainy pants to stay up. I have to do so much like fine tuning stuff. I have to make sure I'm in the shot and I'm never a hundred percent happy and I'm not I'm always questioning, am I completely in the shot or is it kind of sideways? Because sometimes I relook at my videos and like they're kind of catty cornered and I'm like, what's going on here? And uh okay, so this is invert, so this is better. This is uh, better than uh, Quake 3 Arena, but I'm using A to move forward and Y moves backwards, which doesn't make sense. Um, is there a way I can change it in the... No, you can't change it, but um, I guess you can try to get used to it. This make, uh, It makes a little bit less sense than um, some games, I guess, but... I'm I'm doing what I can do. I, I saw those guys go that way, so I, wait, they're following me. I'm the leader here, and not here I am just going around. Um, it's kind of dark in this corner. <laughs> am I able to get around the building? Yes. Is there sh stuff with the D-pad? I don't know. Is this uh, a way I can get in this building? Um, I don't know. D-pad's not doing anything. Wait, I hit up on the D-pad. Picking lock. Okay, that's cool. Why does it have the building's blueprint? Oh, what did I do? What did I do to... Guys, really? Um, guys. What did... Oh my gosh, how did I get into this view? Oh man, dude. Dude, ah, I, I, I see arrows, but I don't see, I wanted to get out of that view, what, what happened here? This is Rogue Spear, this is, uh, not Rogue Spear, but uh, uh, Rainbow Six, guys, um, I'm not proud of this review, here I'm just being all complaining and stuff, and um, but, I mean, look at this. I, I didn't expect to be playing Asteroids. Oh, wait. What did I do to get back? I, th I think I hit, like, left and A together. <sighs> what am I doing? It, I'm, I'm in some sort of area that I didn't see before. And this guy's kind of in my way. I can't do stuff because that guy's... Get out of my way, dude. I don't like Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. Okay, uh, somehow I got out of that one view and now I'm back into normal view, so I don't know how I slipped dimensions. 
you know. I've picked a few locks in my day. I know how to do it. You just need like a, a little um, a bar to actually move the lock and you need a rake. So you need like a, um, a bar and a rake or something like that. You just need two tools really. You just need like, um, you, you, you can find stuff. Uh, you can make shift stuff too. Um, but it's, it's easier if you kind of have like already molded uh, pieces of, um, uh, you know, textile equipment. Um, you know, um, if, if you got your hands on some textile uh, machine equipment, like sometimes some of that stuff can be used for picking locks. And I recommend uh, trying to practice on on locks you have just kind of laying around, you know. Now, that other view where I saw where you can do the blueprint thing, I, I'm not sure how to access it, and that's kind of finicky. Um, did I kill him by accident? I don't know, but um, my, my, my guy's dead. But um, I don't really feel like picking up the controller and keeping on with this game. It's it's just Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six on the Sega Dreamcast. What are you gonna do? I don't know. But uh, here we are. There's a chandelier. I give this a. It's it's just not for me. I don't know. It might be a little bit playable, but it looks better than some of these uh, first person, um, third person shooter action games. So I don't know. Um, not for me. I gave like Quake like a four, and that game's like way worse than this one. So I guess I'll give this a five. It's just I feel kind of bland about it. Yeah, five out of ten. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.